How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here, Airbrush Down and Dirty Tricks, doing a little airbrush maintenance today. After all these live feeds, these things have been uh, used really hard and, you know, not maintained super well. So it's time for a little TLC, a little super clean out, and I'm going to reseal all the threads to make sure that these things are working at peak performance. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about this. This is fairly new from Medea. This is a new thread sealer, okay? We've all probably used thread sealers or beeswax or chapstick or things like that before, and it all works great. And for those of you who don't understand is the way airbrushes work, it doesn't actually push paint from behind the paint. It's air moving over a fluid nozzle, and it's actually pulling the paint through the nozzle off the needle and blowing it off. Kind of like sipping from a straw. So we all know if you have a straw and you put pressure you get nice flow of liquid if you put a crack in that straw or a hole it's not as efficient you lose pressure it doesn't flow as well that's what happens to an airbrush so if you have air leakage out of the threads and your head assembly is not seated just right or it's old and worn the best thing to do is use some thread sealer uh beeswax something like that so what iwata's done here in Medea, which is a branch of iwata here in the u.s they've been this nice Portland Bee Balm, which is basically just beeswax, but it's a really, um, it's a good consistency, so it's not too watery, it's not too hard. I've gotten some before where it's like you have to melt it and warm it up. This just works great. Um, it's basically just beeswax, coconut oil, and olive oil. All right, and it's all that's in here. And it's a nice little package, a nice little consistency. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first, I got my fluid nozzle here that I'm going to give a quick clean out. I've let it soak here. I've been using Createx out of this and sat for a little bit. So I'm using an old needle here and I'm not pushing through hard. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing heavy on the side. I'm going to slowly push through. I'm not jamming because I don't want to flare the fluid nozzle. Another good trick here they've done on some maintenance videos is take like a toothpick and file it down and shave it and just work that in here. Okay. Get that in, everything looks good. I'm gonna use this handy dandy nozzle holder. Okay, and this is a fairly new nozzle, and if you look, you can actually see some of the orange thread sealer that's on here. Um, we're gonna to add to that and just put a few little scrapings, put some fresh beeswax on there, this thread sealer, get it in there. that get seated get the fluid nozzle and just gently turn it don't force it I just slowly turn until it bottoms out just give it a little snug wipe it off make sure everything's clean and I'm also going to put thread seal I find this is actually probably the most important is is your air cap because this is what actually seals around the fluid nozzle and traps the air in the cone. So this is actually for me the most important part to seal. Okay. So just gotta give it a little bit. And make I tr make sure you don't get it inside because you don't want to be blowing your beeswax out the nozzle. Keep it to the outside, put it on. Sometimes you notice a little bit squishes out, that's good. And now you have a really nice assembly. I'm gonna throw the needle back in. All right, just push it up just seats. Give it a little spin. Put the crown cap back on. Her handle and this is going to work as good as a day it came out of the factory check this and what I'm going to do is I just got a little soap and water here I'm going to put it on now see I didn't do this one well enough so see that little loss of pressure okay I did this, but I did this last time I cleaned it, so I didn't take it apart this time. 
Now I'm going to pull the whole head assembly off. I'm going to put it on here, and we won't have that problem. I'm glad that happened. I'm going to get my proper tool kit out here, and we will get this thing working just right. All right, tool kit. I'm going to use the right pliers. Okay, these pliers have a nice Teflon grip handle that's not going to ruin the coating on the airbrush or strip the threads. I'm going to pull the whole head assembly off. And I'm going to just clean out what was there. I'm going to apply something new. We should have zero blow by or loss of vacuum pressure. If we do this well, we'll put a good amount on because this, this doesn't come off and on very often. So make sure there's nothing up here. And this extra, you know, I'm going to draw the needle back before I put that on. Have any problems and bend the needle. I'm gonna slide that back in and thread it. Finger tight. You'll see some extra spin out. Take the tool and just snug. Okay, don't wrench it, just just give it a little, a little tension. That's all you gotta do. Alright, let's try that again. So now we should have a perfect seal and better performance on the brush because that little pressure coming out there means that volume of pressure that's shooting out that is not drawing the proper CFM across the nozzle and it'll make your paint spray less efficient. Look at that. No bubbles. That's exactly what we want. Nice and clean. No bubbles. Now we got perfect pressure. Going through, perfect volume of air. This gun's gonna want to work perfectly. Hope you enjoyed this little quick tip on cleaning and getting your guns performed as best they can. And I'm gonna do the rest of these brushes and get ready to bring you guys some more content. Have a good one.